Hi, I'm Caroline. And I'm Madeline, her superior clone. The human brain is super interesting, but it can also get pretty complex and confusing. Different areas of the brain are responsible for different tasks, including sensory processing, maintaining balance when walking, and controlling breathing and heart rate. The brain is responsible for countless tasks. However, in this video, we will just be discussing the part of the brain near the edge of the cortex known as the limbic system. So, the limbic system consists of a bunch of neurons and connections pretty much in the center of your brain. Neurons are in charge of communicating messages through the cells in your body. The limbic system is like the apple core of your brain in a way, and is responsible for many of the things that keep you alive. It contains three different areas, known as the hypothalamus, amygdala, and hippocampus, which we will be talking about throughout the video. In addition to maintaining homeostasis, it also controls your mood and other natural instincts. So when you're hungry for a hamburger or enjoying a nice hot shower, you can thank the limbic system. When you're super angry at that annoying kid sitting in front of you during class, you can blame it. But just remember that is the reason your ancestor ran away from that bear instead of peacefully petting it and singing campfire songs. Within the limbic system, the hypothalamus serves as an integrating center, linking both the endocrine and nervous systems. Both systems send messages throughout the body. The main gland in the endocrine system that the hypothalamus controls is the pituitary gland, which is responsible for regulating growth and also supervising other glands. Basically, the biggest concern of the hypothalamus is maintaining homeostasis or keeping physiological processes to a set point. You can think of the hypothalamus functioning like a thermostat. When your room gets too cold, the thermostat conveys this information to the furnace and turns it on. As your room warms up and the temperature gets beyond a certain point, it sends a signal that tells the furnace to turn off. As you can see, the hypothalamus is pretty important and one of the busiest parts of the brain. It regulates hunger, thirst, response to pain, levels of pleasure, sexual satisfaction, anger, and aggressive behavior. In addition to all of those tasks, it also regulates the functioning of the autonomic nervous system, which in turn controls things like pulse, blood pressure, breathing, and arousal in response to emotional circumstances. Wow, the hypothalamus is responsible for a lot. I can imagine it would be bad if it got damaged. You're right, it would. But thankfully, the central positioning of the limbic system makes it a lot harder for the hypothalamus to get damaged. In general, the most important parts of the brain are strategically located farthest from the surface of the body. Another part of the limbic system is the amygdala. The amygdala primarily controls anger, fear, and sexual responses. During one experiment, when psychologists removed the amygdala from some animals, they became tame and incapable of fear, while stimulating the amygdala in other animals made them even more aggressive than usual. Don't try this at home, by the way. It's just a tad bit unethical. Just a bit. The amygdala is also active during REM sleep. If you have woken up someone during a dream and they were angry at you, it might be because they were unable to finish processing their negative emotions. Speaking of that, do you remember the time I was really angry at you? Well, you can thank your hippocampus for that. The hippocampus is really cool because it's responsible for processing conscious memories. Wait, I forgot. What's responsible for memory? The hippocampus. To remember the job of the hippocampus, just think of this. If you saw a hippopotamus on your school campus, then it would be pretty hard to forget. Unless for some reason, your hippocampus is damaged. Damage to the hippocampus causes recent experiences to be forgotten, but past experiences remain unaffected a condition known as anterior grade amnesia. The hippocampus helps to convert short-term memories to long-term memories. Without it, you would have to study for an exam less than 20 minutes before it happened to remember anything. Our friend Ryan showed us around his neurology lab at UCI. He researches Alzheimer's disease and dementia. So the hippocampus is really important because it's the main area that is affected with those diseases. Once again, the limbic system is what allows us to form memories, regulate physiological processes, and react to events in an appropriate way. Thank you for joining us on our adventure through the limbic system.